Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, this time we're going to be trying to do a technique which is usually called Snowdram. Uh, as I discussed in a previous video, I do not like calling techniques for this game Dram strats or Drams. So instead we're going to be calling it Snow, Cappy is a trans girl. Uh, basically it's a way to jump from the top of the Odyssey uh, over to the uh, secret path, which is up there. You can just about see it through the blizzard. It's very, very hard. It's one of the most difficult strats in the in the speed run, any percent speed run. Um, but that moon, it, I believe it's sec seven seconds faster to get if you do the, the strat perfectly than the other moon that people got previously in the speed run. Uh, it's a very, very hard strat though. I haven't managed to pull it off. I've been practicing off camera. Uh, but hopefully we'll manage to do it, and we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm also using my new microphone right now. I don't know how well that's going to work, so hopefully it's okay. Uh, this is basically two experiments in one, since I'm testing out the new microphone, and I'm trying out this Strat Nodicy. <laughs> uh, so basically the way you do Snow Cappy as a trans girl, you stand on the Odyssey with Mario's left foot on this piece of metal here, uh, basically where the paint's been scraped off and you can see the exposed metal underneath. Then you go into first person mode, you line up so that the left side of the quit icon, the one with the R down arrow thing, is lined up inside this little loop on the Odyssey. Like this. Once you're lined up like that, you want to do a Cappy roll jump. But, when you're rolling towards Cappy to do the jump, you have to be holding left so that Mario rolls a little bit to the left and you bounce off Cappy's left side instead of right in the middle. So, like this, basically. Ugh, couldn't pull it off. Uh, but basically, yeah, what you want to do is do that Cappy roll jump I just did, then you need to do a cap bounce, followed by a rainbow spin, which is... Uh, I'll do just do one to show you. That thing is a rainbow spin. You do that by pressing a jump button uh, after Cappy has returned to you. It's like the mid-air version of a cap return jump. Uh, and that gives you a little bit more hang time before you throw Cappy again. Uh, and once you've done the rainbow spin, you need to throw Cappy again and then dive and hopefully land on top of that ledge. Uh, the timing is very precise and you also need to angle the analog stick in a very precise way and I'm not really very good at it. Uh, so looking up like a proper tutorial instead of my video where I'm just trying to do it is probably a good idea. Um, but, you know, this is my video and hopefully that explanation gave you a bit of an idea of what to do. But yeah, you stand in this spot, you use- the first person mode is lining up so that when you throw Cappy she will always be in the same, like, spot, basically. Uh, then you wanna throw her, do a Cappy roll jump while holding left. Then, as you move towards that little jump there, you need to do a cap throw. You wait for Mario's spin from the cap throw to finish, then you dive in order to bounce off Cappy, then you rainbow spin, uh, then you throw Cappy again, then you dive, and hopefully get onto the ledge. Uh, maybe. It's really, 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 really hard. It is widely recognized as the hardest part of the any percent run. Uh... Yeah, you can see it's very precise. Also, you can see I've gotten these two purple coins. You can probably guess how, <laughs> considering I've been practicing this off camera for a while. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of expecting not to be able to pull it off, but we'll see how we go. I'll try for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I've been trying a lot off camera, so I won't put too much into the video. Um, I want to extend this more than it needs to be, but there we go. See, sometimes you don't even bonk. You're not close enough to reach that ledge at all, and you just slide down the hill. Uh, sometimes you do bonk, and those are the better ones. But obviously you don't want to bonk, you want to actually land on the ledge. Which is very, very hard. Uh, I'm told this does like, tend to take a lot of practice even for very skilled speedrunners, and, you know, I'm not a very skilled speedrunner. I'm 
just a person who loves this game very much. <laughs> so yeah, um, you get into this position, throw Cappy, roll onto her while holding left, you forget to do the rainbow spin, slide down the hill. So yeah, the rainbow spin, you want to do it basically just after you've done, after Cappy's return to you, I believe, uh, and you do it by pressing a jump button rather than pressing the cap throw button. And that gives you just a little bit of extra hang time, which is just enough to get you over to the right spot. If you're lucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, line up very carefully. You can do this at any time, it will work when the blizzard's over, but it, it, there's not as much point by doing it later, since, you know, once you've actually cleared the story and you can leave the kingdom, you can go through the painting to do this, rather than having to do the skip. Uh, which is much, much easier, obviously. And I forgot to do the rainbow spin again, so that's great. Um, you'll never take any damage from this water as long as you keep jumping out and cap bouncing, so keep that in mind. Also, um, the first time you go up after failing, there'll be a little like peg stuck in the ground you have to pull out to make that whirlwind start. Once you've done that, it'll stay there for all your re-attempts, so it doesn't take very long to retry, which is good. Carefully, there we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a very, very precise trick with very precise timing. And I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully this, um, this recording sounds okay. I did do a bunch of testing uh, with the new mic to make sure stuff sounded alright, but I'm still a little skeptical. Um, so hopefully it sounds good to you. Uh, let me know. Um, I'll do my best to get the audio sounding right. Oh my goodness, that was, that was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be impossible to do this, which is why it is so very hard. You're not supposed to be able to get up there, uh, except by doing the secret path. But it is possible, it's just, it's just tricky as all the beans. <laughs> okay, uh, line up very carefully. Foot in the right spot, there we go. There we go. <sighs> so yeah, you have a very limited amount of hang time available. Uh, which is why you have to use the rainbow spin to extend it as much as possible. Also, um, if you throw Cappy into a whirlwind, you'll basically lose her until you reach the top, so be careful with that. Since she's affected by, uh, wind currents. Line yourself up like this. I have the volume on the TV turned way down because I was having trouble with echo coming from the microphone. Uh, picking up basically the game audio and then playing it back again. I'm not sure why that is. It is facing away from the TV and it is a directional microphone. Maybe my room just has too much echo. I don't think it does though. It doesn't sound like an echoey room. But, you know, it's not like a recording studio or anything, so maybe it's got some problems that way. Oh my goodness. Mario, what are you doing? Uh, unfortunately this particular trick takes a while to retry because you have to get all the way back over. Uh, some of the other Skips who've been trying are very quick to retry because you're still in the same spot when you mess it up. Like like the um, wet first moon skip, for example. If you mess that up, you're still in the water, you just gotta swim back a little bit. Whereas here, you have to climb back up onto the Odyssey because you're starting on a high ledge. And you're trying to jump to another high ledge, and if you mess it up, you fall in between the two high ledges. There we go. Oh. I think I might not be aiming for the right part of the ledge in the middle. It's it's hard to be sure exactly what is intended. Also, you gotta be completely covered in snow all the time because of the blizzard. So that's pretty fun. Mm. 
It's kind of cute how the game gives Mario this captain's hat. Uh, well, I mean, Cappy turns into a captain's hat. Like, early in the game, and there's basically no other reason to switch costumes, meaning that any speedrunner who's playing the game is gonna have look like this instead of just regular Mario. Uh, you know, except in like an all unique moons run or something where you actually need to use all the costumes to get certain moons. Because yeah, um, the act of changing costumes obviously takes a bit of time, so if you're in a speedrun you don't want to waste time on changing costumes if you don't have to. Yeah, I think I just have the timing down. And possibly the actual direction of my travel is wrong, but I'm not really sure. I wonder how Roll Cancel Vector would get you over there. I don't think so, because it's higher up, and I believe Roll Cancel Vectors, while you can travel very far horizontally, I don't think you can gain much height from them. I also don't know how to do them, so... Ah! Bonking on the ledge is what I consider a success. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, um... This gets you one moon if you manage to pull it off, because it's just the secret path moon. Uh, the one moon people normally get instead, uh, the one that takes seven seconds longer, is the... I think it's the side path moon in the Rango fight? Maybe it, maybe it is the Rango fight, and rather than the side path, I'm not sure. It's one of the moons in that room, though. Uh, that, that people used to get instead of getting this one, which is, in fact, seven seconds faster. My guess is it's the Rango fight itself, because the actual fight takes up a bit of time. Ah, uh, that looks really good, but I don't think it was as good as it looks, because the actual uh, bonking gives you a bit more height, but that height can't be used to get onto the ledge, because you already bonked. Sleepy Danny. I should put my glasses on. I don't know why I'm not wearing them. I just realized I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> oh, that looked really close, but it wasn't. See, if this were Mario Sunshine, you could just use a flood hover to make that distance. <laughs> um, but, you know, they would have changed the distances around if this were Mario Sunshine had different moves. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure doing like a spin jump in that game and then a flood hover would get you all the way over there. Because the spin jump in Mario Sunshine was really, really good. Spin jump in this game, not so good. So yeah, the way I got the purple coins, as you may have guessed, is by falling onto them from above when I messed this up. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, Mario's left foot goes just here on the metal. I'm gonna look at this spot. So yeah, this is a very, very hard strat. I don't know why this is even, like, I don't know why people even call this a Dram strat. They shouldn't, um, both because Dram doesn't like having strats named after him, and because it has no resemblance to the original, like, the one we saw in, uh, Tostarina, which I also called a Cappy as a trans girl strat. Uh, because most strats that are called, you know, Cappy as a trans girl strats, uh, involve putting Cappy somewhere, and then going to get a moon, and then capturing something in order to get back from where the moon is real quick. Uh, there's one you can do in the Metro Kingdom, uh, and there's the one in Tostarina, I think there's a few more like that. But this one has nothing to do with that, it's a completely different kind of strategy, so I have no idea why it's got the same 
uh, nomenclature. Uh, I think the meme is basically that Dram 55 is bad at the game and can't do a Dram strat or something, which is super gross. Not a fan of that at all. Which is why I have renamed all the strats. <laughs> So yeah, you're getting the idea of how tricky this, this particular technique is. Um, I'm getting the movements right, I'm just timing it not well enough. Uh, as far as I can tell, anyway. Yeah, I've been playing for over 15 minutes, and I haven't actually done anything, like, mildly interesting, so... I think I might call it quits for trying to pull off this strap for the moment? And I might have a look around and see what else I can do instead, because... Yeah, this isn't really going anywhere. Uh, I would like to see if... Uh, there is another painting in this kingdom, which is over this direction. I would like to see if that painting is already activated before we actually go over there. I don't know... Like, I mean, before we, you know, st stop the blizzard and make everything activate. Uh, I don't know if we can actually reach it, but let's go have a look. Um, it's over here somewhere. Okay, here we go. You can see there's, like, this big, big, uh, block here. What you're supposed to do, once you've cleared the blizzard, is get one of the Typhoos and push the block over, uh, using the Typhoos, you know, blowing stuff over powers. Uh, I should be able to climb that. Uh, and then you can use it to get onto that ledge up there. So what I'm wondering is if it's possible to make it all the way over there without access to a Typhoon. Uh. Hmm. My initial guess is no, uh, because there isn't enough room for Cappy Roll Jump here. But maybe. Maybe. Because, yeah, I can say that's very, very far. Uh, as you can say, that's way too high uh, to climb without using a ledge of some kind. Whereas this one is a good height to climb without using a ledge of some kind. <laughs> uh, let me see. A long jump will not work. A triple jump might. Like a better one than that one. Uh, obviously that one sucked. Yeah, that's not going when you're far enough. And there isn't enough room to do a cappy roll jump up there. Unless I'm missing a way to do it. Let's, let's have another look and just make sure. Because, yeah, if you throw so cappy at a bit of an angle, uh, sort of like this, you can get it to go a little less far off, a, off an edge. Uh, that's on the diagonal, and she's still going way too far. So, hmm. I wonder if I could throw her, like, at the wall to have her stop and then do a roll jump off of that? I don't know if that even works. Uh, it looks like it sort of does, but you lose the momentum when you hit the wall. So, it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, that doesn't actually work. Okay, I don't think that's accessible, uh, without having, you know, saved the kingdom and made the typhoons appear so you can move that block. Which is a bit sad. Uh, you can see most of the stuff on the surface here is blocked off until you've actually uh, cleared out the kingdom and basically saved the kingdom and, you know, won the race also because that's something that changes the weather for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It's weird. What 
Do, 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 do. Sure do. Yeah, I haven't really got much else to experiment with besides, you know, trying to do Snow Cappy as a trans girl and trying to get up to that painting. I don't know what else I can do here. Uh, we can go down and just grab a few moons, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. That was cool. <laughs> um, that's a quick way to reach this moon uh, by bouncing off of that par that parasol down there. But that's intentional. That's not like a trick or anything. That's just by design that you're able to do that. It's not especially difficult, David. <sighs> There's another moon over here, yeah. Da -da -da. Yeah! And yeah, that's most of the interesting stuff covered. I don't know, there isn't really that much to do in Traveria. Uh, there is a way to clip into the race here from over here in this corner, I believe. Uh, but I don't think I can do it in this version of the game. Uh, I believe they patched a lot of these clips. That people used to be able to do in um, the original version 1.0 and I don't know how to do it <laughs> but yeah basically you want to roll cancel clip through this wall but I don't really know how and I don't think it works in 1.2 and then you can make your way over to this entrance without actually opening this door it's used in the all unique moon speed room because it's quicker to visit the four side rooms once instead of twice after you've opened the moon rock and unlocked the extra moons that are supposed to be there. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I've done like all the experiments I have for this kingdom, which is sad. I haven't really pulled anything off. Mm. Can grab some some purple coins and stuff. I can do this without jumping off those boxes. I'm sure. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> uh, not really super exciting, but, you know, it was fun. Um, so, yeah, um, experiments like not walking on the snow obviously are impossible because there's snow everywhere. There's, like, no other kind of ground. Um... Even these parasols are covered in snow, so you couldn't, you know, bounce from parasol to parasol to avoid touching the snow. <laughs> also, you couldn't do it anyway because you don't get your hat bounce back after you bounce off the parasol. I don't know why that is. You really should. Sure is. <gasps> Um, but, yeah, I guess that's all I've got to look at. Um, I guess I'll finish this off Kingdom off normally, and maybe I'll have something more interesting to do in Seaside. I might go give, uh, Snowcap who's a trans girl one or two more, twi more tries, and then I'm gonna call out a video. Uh, let's make our way back over to the Odyssey. God, these controls are annoying. Uh, there we go.
Mario plus. Yeah, I'll give it one more try. Put his foot in the right spot. There we go. way to hit the checkpoint with Cappy and therefore activate it without having to actually get up there. Like obviously that would be slower than just getting Mario up there to get the moon but but it might be possible and maybe easier. Hmm. Let's see. Because you know you'd have to warp up there to get the moon and that's obviously going to be a bit slower than if you can just get up there yourself. And then just hop back down to the Odyssey. Nice and easy. Hmm, maybe? I reckon if you had two player mode, you could maybe do it. Well, I think Cappy actually needs a platform to be standing on, so you can't just fly out into the void. <sighs> Not sure. Um, well, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if I'm using my mic wrong, because it's new and I don't know what I'm doing, and it's really stressful. And, uh, let me know if you've got ideas for experiments to do here, because, you know, we can do experiments here, if you've got more ideas. Um, and, yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you think Cappy is super cute and you love her as much as I do, and uh, I hope this video's audio track doesn't suck, because I'm worried about that. Okay, uh, bye!